exciting and terrific day to you kids. Together, we'll explore, discover, and find answers to the mysteries of the world through science. I am your grade 5 super science teacher, Vivian. Today, we will learn about the usefulness and proper handling of potentially harmful materials. Are you excited? Let's go! Join me! Let's enter the kingdom where fun and exciting learning experiences are about to happen. Only here at DepEd TV. Last episode, we learned about the different properties of matter. Let's check if you can still remember them. Let's play a game. This game is called Name That Thing. I'll be giving some hints about the different kinds of materials. Take note of its properties and uses. Then, you have to name that thing. Are you ready? Let the game begin! The first object is elastic, waterproof, and non-conductor of heat and electricity. So it is used as insulator to wrap around handles of cooking pots. Can you name that thing? Go! The answer is rubber. Did you get it right? Very good. The second object is hard and strong. It can be made into furniture case of musical instruments, decorative accessories, while others serve as construction materials. Can you name that thing? Go! The correct answer is wood. Are you correct? Very good! The third object is made into jewelry due to their malleability and luster. Others are used in making cooking pans and kitchen utensils since they are a good conductor of heat. Can you name that thing? Go! The correct answer is metal. Did you name it right? Very good! The fourth object is made of various chemicals and is known for its strength and flexibility. It is very useful in making containers, kitchenware, toys, pipes, shopping bags, and even chairs and tables. Can you name that thing? Go! The correct answer is plastic. Did you get the correct answer? Great! The last object is brittle, yet useful for it can be a container of food and drinks, or even as partition of houses. Can you name that thing? Go! If you answered yes, then you are correct. Perfect! I hope you are having so much fun. Oh, by the way, wait a minute, children. I think I forgot to do something which is very important. I need to be home. Do you want to go with me? Come! Finally, we are here. You know what, children? I went to the supermarket yesterday to buy these things. However, I forgot to store them in their proper places. Are you curious if what are they? Come, let's take a look. ta -da! I have batteries, glass bottle, kitchen knife, liquid bleach, alcohol, and a cough syrup. 
Do you think it is right to put these things on top of the table where children can just play with them? Of course not! They should be properly stored and be kept from out of reach of children. Let's talk about them one by one. Together, let's identify each of their uses. When can they be harmful? Why can they be potentially harmful? And how should they be used or handled? First, batteries. What is the use of batteries? Batteries are used for supplying power to electronic gadgets. When can it be harmful? Batteries are harmful when not safely stored or disposed. But why can it be potentially harmful? It can be potentially harmful because some of its contents are toxic. Then how should it be used or handled? For us to avoid harm or danger that may be caused by batteries, when drained, it should be stored in places that can't be reached by children. Do not dispose it with other wastes, and you may wrap it with adhesive tape when disposing. How about this? A glass bottle. A glass bottle is used for storing liquids. It can be harmful when it is broken due to accidents or carelessness. Then why is it considered to be potentially harmful? It is potentially harmful because glass is brittle and therefore it easily breaks. When it breaks, it produces shards with sharp edges and corners. Sharp objects are potentially dangerous. To prevent harm from this broken glass, one should put it in a place where it will be less likely to be accidentally pushed. Make sure that holders used to store glassware are strong. How about the kitchen knife? A kitchen knife is used for cutting ingredients for cooking. It can be harmful when it has a defective handle or not handled carefully. It can be potentially harmful because the material it is made of is usually hard that allows it to be sharpened by grinding. Sharp objects are potentially dangerous. To prevent from harm, it should always be kept out from reach of young children. Sharp objects are not safe to be played with. Now, let's have the liquid materials. Liquid materials are produced for specific uses. In the same ways, liquid materials are useful but can become hazardous if not used, stored, and disposed properly. They are classified as food products, personal care, medicines, cleaning or disinfectant materials, paints, and pesticides or insecticides. First, we have the liquid bleach. It is used to remove tough stains and whitens clothing. When can it be harmful? It can be harmful because of the poisonous substances which may be ingested and overexposure to it can cause skin irritation. Why can it be potentially harmful? It contains toxic chemicals that can pose health hazards to users and environment. How should it be used or handled? In using this material, check out the label first. Read the instruction to avoid harm and store it in a secured place. Now, we have the rubbing alcohol. Nowadays, rubbing alcohol is really needed. Rubbing alcohol is used as antiseptic, surface disinfectant, and for household cleaning. It can be harmful if accidentally ingested and if inhaled for a long period of time. 
it contains toxic substances which are poisonous and highly flammable. To prevent harm from using this, we should store it properly in a tightly closed container in a cool, dry, well-ventilated area and away from all possible ignition sources. Lastly, we have cough syrup. Cough syrup relieves cough. Improper use of this medication, like overdosage, may cause harm. It can potentially be harmful because overdosage may result serious harm such as brain damage, seizure, or even death. To avoid harm, we have to take doctor's advice or follow the directions on the product package for self-treating. You just have learned that useful products can be potentially harmful. In the same way, what we usually label as harmful products have specific usefulness, right? So much from that, children! Now, let's check if you have learned something today. Assess each of the following statements describing how products are used or handled, whether they are proper or improper. Number 1. Overcharging a battery. Is it proper or improper? The answer is improper. It is improper to overcharge a battery. Number 2. Drinking from a glass with visible crack. Is it proper or improper? The answer is improper. It is improper to drink from a glass with visible crack. Number 3. Picking a knife by the handle. Is it proper or improper? The answer is proper. It is proper to pick a knife by the handle. Number 4. Using a pot holder in picking up a kettle with boiling water. Is it proper or improper? The answer is proper. It is proper to use a pot holder in picking up a kettle with boiling water. Number 5. Mixing a drained battery with other waste products. Is it proper or improper? The answer is improper. It is improper to mix drained battery with other wastes. Number 6. Taking liquid syrup to treat cough any time of the day. Is it proper or improper? The answer is improper. It is improper to take liquid syrup to treat cough any time of the day. Number 7. Using muriatic acid to clean bathroom tiles with hand gloves. Is it proper or improper? The answer is proper. It is proper to use muriatic acid to clean bathroom tiles with hand gloves. Number 8. Decorating the walls using spray paint with no mask. Is it proper or improper? The answer is improper. It is improper to decorate walls using spray paint with no mask. Number 9. Closing the valve of the gas tank after cooking. Is it proper or improper? The answer is proper. It is proper to close the valve of the gas tank after cooking. Number 10. Drinking milk beyond expiration date. Is it proper or improper? It is improper. It is improper to drink milk beyond expiration date. How is that, children? You should always observe and follow the proper ways of handling materials. For this, help me determine the usefulness, harmfulness, and the ways on how to handle, store, or dispose them. The first object is the rubber band. It is used for binding multiple objects together. It is harmful when worn tightly on the wrist which may cut circulation. 
We should not wear it on the wrist for extended periods. Second product is a milk. It gives our body nourishment and energy. It becomes harmful when spoiled milk may accidentally be ingested which may cause stomach distress, resulting in vomiting or diarrhea. How should we handle or store them? We should always check the expiration date. Third object is a hand soap. It keeps good hygiene which helps prevent the spread of infection, illness, and bad odors. If not used properly, the products may cause allergy and other skin problems. Before applying any products to your body, check first the ingredient list or chemical uses for safety precautions. The fourth one is an insecticide. It kills insects and pests, which are possible carriers of diseases and affects plant growth or yields. It can be harmful if accidentally ingested and if frequent inhalation happens, cause health hazards. The way you should handle it is to follow the safe procedure stated. Wash hands after use and store it as directed in the product labels. Lastly, we have the paracetamol syrup. Paracetamol syrup treats illness and disease. It becomes harmful when abusive use of drugs happens, which leads to addiction and will harm oneself or others. One should follow doctor's prescriptions. Follow directions in the product package and it should be kept in a medicine cabinet. Are you still with me? If yes, give me two claps! Fantastic! I hope you enjoyed our episode for today. This is your grade 5 super science teacher, Vivian. Always remember, make it a habit to study. It works! Till next time, bye!